Scripty allows users to modify dialogue and to make notes about stage direction using the technique called click and flick. I'm now going to demonstrate the four basic click and flick moves. The first technique I'm going to demonstrate is for alternate dialogue. This involves a click and flick move to three o'clock. First, I highlight the area that I am going to change. You can highlight an entire speech or just a part of a speech. In this instance, I'm going to highlight an entire speech. So I triple click on that line, which highlights the entire line. Then I use my index finger on the tracking pad and flick to three o'clock, creating an alternate dialogue box. Then I type in the new dialogue. I hit return to lock in the change. Now, for advanced users, and we recommend not to do this lightly, you can actually modify the main body of the script at this point by clicking into the butterfly box, we call it, right between the from and to wings. You can check the box to see that the change that you've made is correct. Once you hit modify script, you'll get a little warning box. You say yes. and you hit save and this will lock the change into the script. Remember doing this will permanently modify the script so we don't recommend you going into this lightly but it is pretty cool when you get to do it. Now I'm going to demonstrate the second technique. This is for inserted dialogue. This involves a flick to 12 o'clock. First you highlight the area where the insertion takes place. I'm going to highlight the comma after the word health. Then you flick to 12 o'clock using your index finger on the tracking pad. This will give you a select character box. I'm going to select the character Leonard. Now an inserted dialog box will appear to the right. You'll notice it tells you where the dialog is inserted. It's in the comma after health. That's where I wanted it to be on scene 33, take one. Now I type in the dialog that is inserted. Leonard is going to say, wait, exclamation point. I hit return. Now for advanced users, again with the same warning, you can modify the script the same way. I'll show you how to get to that window by clicking in the butterfly box, checking your changes, and then hitting modify script. I'm now going to demonstrate how to omit dialogue using click and flick. This involves a flick to about 5 o'clock. Users can omit an entire speech or just a part of a speech. For this demonstration, I'm going to omit just part of a speech. The speech previously read, you shouldn't stand people up. Now the speech is going to say, you shouldn't. So we're going to omit stand people up. I highlight the affected words. I flick down to five o'clock. This creates a red text box which indicates omitted dialogue. The word omitted also appears to the right as does the scene and take where this omission takes place. Again for advanced users you can modify the script by clicking in the center of the butterfly box, checking your changes and then hitting modify script. Users can note stage direction with the fourth click and flick move. This is a move to about 10 o'clock. Again, you highlight the affected area. This can occur either in the middle of existing stage direction or even in the middle of dialogue. You can indicate which hand a character picks up a cup with. You can indicate if a character does a different stage direction than the other takes. You do this by simply clicking onto the affected area. Let's say, for instance, on the word don't, Leonard were to pick up a camera. I flick up and left towards 10 o'clock. This creates a stage direction box. Picks up camera. I then hit return. Now since I'm noting stage direction notes on a first take or a rehearsal, there'll be no 
slate, or take number appearing beside the note. If I were to make a change or a note on any subsequent take, the slate and take number will appear in the upper right-hand corner.